Anyway, folks, you know, I want to get into Kevin Frankie and Ruby Frankie and Jody Hildebrand because over this past few days, this past week, they did basically a document dump and released all kinds of information on them. And I find it um, difficult to believe, difficult to accept that Kevin Frankie had no role in any of this. And um, early on, he he hired an attorney and then he announced that he was um, going to divorce Ruby Frankie. Six kids that show they had eight, uh, eight passengers, that hugely successful YouTube show with over a million and a half followers. And then things went south. Uh, things went pretty badly, probably mostly because of this woman you see up on the screen, the one on the right, Jody Hildebrandt, who I think was probably the catalyst to this whole situation. By the catalyst, I mean someone that was giving extremely poor advice, someone that took over uh, this family and many other families and destroyed people. And I'm convinced she was heavily skilled in mind control uh, because she got to do things. She got people to do things that she wanted them to do, even against uh, their will. Um, so, you know, she, again, is the catalyst behind this. And I find it also even more disturbing. Uh, and we've discussed this before, and many other channels have discussed this, that the Church of the Latter-day Saints was somehow behind this. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, they were referring clients to Jody Hildebrandt. And a lot of the way she used her mind control had to do with religion and contro just controlling people. And in that way, it became extremely, extremely uh, powerful having the church behind her, having techniques that I don't know where she learned these mind control techniques, but she absolutely used them. And when we listen to some of Kevin Frankie's interview with the police, you can hear the power that Jody Hildebrandt even had over him months after she was out of his life. 